Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream and today it's another car washing video and I haven't done one of these for a long, long, long time and I'll go through the reasons why I haven't done one of these for a long time as we're washing the car. So let's get started. So, okay, why haven't I done any of these videos for a while? Um, well, I've been busy really. I've been down to Bangkok to do an interview with regard to uh, medical insurance with a, a representative from Pacific Cross. Have a look at that video with regard to that. He, he has give you some details with regard to insurance and he's answered a lot of the questions that some of my subscribers asked for. And as I say, that, that's took some time to do. That was a couple of days trip down to Bangkok. I've also done a couple of other videos whilst I was in Bangkok. Uh, Khao San Road and also walking around in Bangkok on the evening time on your own and how safe it is. So if you're interested in videos give it a watch and um, see what you think, leave your comments down below and also when I come back there was things to do in the house. Now I've improved the, um, the water filtration system area as I say I've, I've just it was a it was a mess and I've changed it now and it's looking better and better every day and we planted some trees and bushes and if you're going to plant a tree over here plant a tree that's going to give you something back so we've planted two fruit trees and they will start growing and hopefully give us fruit it's like the banana trees we've got three banana trees uh, all different bananas so they're still pretty young but they'll get there in the end so, what's today's video is going to be about? Well, it's again not scripted and I'm just going to go on um, with regard to what I think about living in Thailand. Because I've got a couple of subscribers who are making their way over to Thailand and we're going to spend a couple of days with them showing them around Thailand and things like that. Now, they've been subscribers for a long time and it's nice to have the opportunity to meet people as I do, I usually meet somebody once a week. So these guys are coming over here with the thought of actually living here in Thailand. Now I've done many videos with regard to uh, living costs and costs of everything. Again, the sort of old videos, maybe it's a year old or so, so I'm gonna do a, a modern day um, video with regard to that because there's a few people who are interested in it um, so why not? If that's what people are asking for, that's what I'm going to give them. But as far as me is concerned, um, I'm a, a glass half full person all the time. And uh, I love being like that because as I, say, I see the good in everything. And, um, you know, there's always a positive slant to, you know, anything that's negative. But... I've got to say, over the past few weeks, I've not felt like doing any videos because, well, what's going on around the world? You know, there, there's nothing good happening around the world at the minute. It's all bad, all doom and gloom. And, and who am I to s tell people what a good life I'm living? Um, you know, and it sort of hit a raw nerve with me, as I say, with everything that's going on around the world, it is sad. So, that's why I've been curious over the past couple of weeks or so is what's been going on. It's, it's, I can't see any positive in what's going on. And as I say, um, I hate negativity. I stay away from negative people. But I've felt a little bit down in the past couple of weeks as of what's going on. Nothing I can do about it. I know there's nothing I can do about it. But what I would say is that there's also got to be other people who are thinking about being down and there's got to be a better life and there's got to be a, you know, more rewarding life. So, hence this video, because there is, we can all do something about it. And if we don't like our situation where we are, then we can move. And I've got to say, I made the move 12, almost 12 years ago now to Thailand and there's not one day I regret. Is it perfect? No it isn't and I wouldn't say 
anywhere in the world is perfect. But I've got to say, at the minute, with everything that's going on, it's more perfect than a lot of other places. Now I've come from the UK and uh, obviously I watch the news of what's going on in the UK and that and boy I think is it going to kick off in England and I think it's going to kick off in America in Europe because of what's going on. I can't see an end in the situation. All I can see is things getting worse. If I'm wrong, leave in the comments what you think is going to go right in Europe or in England or America. What, how, can we, how can we go back from the situation that we're at now? I think we've let the situation go too far. And now it's an impossibility to go back and um, sort things out. Because I think we've gone too far. And who's that got to do with is the woke people in life. The, you can't do this, you can't do that because you're going to offend somebody. You can't say this, you can't say that because you're going to offend somebody. I'm not racist. I'm for anybody who wants to change their lives and, you know, live a better life is why I'm doing here. So again, like this is what they're talking about is this video. If you're feeling that life has got to be better than where you are. I'm one of the people that you can listen to amongst many, many others that have actually made the move and done it and can show what it's like, the, the good or the bad or the ugly. I'm sure there's a movie like that. So, just look where I am. Just look where I am. I'm not a wealthy person, far from it. All I get is a, a small pension every month and I can make that last. Now I can make it last a lot longer here than I ever could in England. Because at the end of the day, the cost of, well, everybody knows. I'm telling people stuff that they already know with regard to the cost in England for everything. Now it was, it was a year ago since I went to to England and uh, as people commented on it, I just kept going, wow, wow, the price of this, the price of that, the price of the other. And I've got to say, it's a lovely relief to actually come back to Thailand and not whinge and moan about the prices because in my mind, everything is so cheap here and affordable. I don't have to think about buying a coffee, how much is going to buy, how much is going to cost me to buy a coffee. And like one example, when I went home to England last year, I took my niece out for a cup of coffee and I said, do you want a sandwich? She said, yeah, I'll have a baking sandwich. So a cup of coffee, well, two cups of coffee and a baking sandwich, 12 pound. Do your own calculations with regard to what that is in dollars, US dollars and euros. But 12 pounds for two cups of coffee and a bacon, one bacon sandwich. Now I knew it was going to be expensive, so I didn't order a bacon sandwich. Because I was on a limited budget whilst I was over in England. Because everything, but everything was expensive. Now living in Thailand, it's such it's such a rewarding feeling that you don't have to think about what you're going to buy in the shop whether you're going to buy a cake whether you're going to buy a meal because we've eaten in shopping malls and it's 70 baht 70 baht for a meal so about two pounds two pounds for a nice meal it's cooked right in front of you it's fresh and it's nice. When's the last time you've got something to eat in your own country for two pounds? Now I'm a big coffee drinker. So I go buy coffees and 
the best value for coffee in, in Thailand is Amazon. Amazon coffee. Because for 60 baht, you can get a big coffee. 60 baht, that's again, uh, for about £1.50, something like that. For a coffee. In England, I was paying £2 for a coffee until I discovered Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons in England is great value for money. So anybody that's visiting England from Europe or America or whatever, seek out a Weatherspoons. Very good value for money. Very, very cheap to, to buy anything in there. Good quality and good, good value for money. Weatherspoons in England. It's the only best value place I ever found in England because everywhere else was blooming expensive. So, getting back to living here in Thailand. Petrol for the car. In England, how many people just put a tenner in the car? Ten pounds in the car until it needs putting it in again at ten pounds. Because to fill a car in England is around about a hundred pounds to fill it up with petrol. To fill this car up with petrol, it's uh, 24, about 30 quid to fill it up to the gunnels with petrol. 30 pounds. Yeah. Already, I hope there's a few of you thinking, I could do with a bit of that. I could do with a bit of cheap living. Why do I need to pay what I'm paying? And obviously the people I'm referring to is retired. My channel's retired and living the dream. Now it's going to be more difficult for those people who work to be able to do this. But for those people who are entering retirement or thinking about retirement and thinking about there's got to be a better life than, uh, than living where I am, then this is for you. This channel, can I go into everything, all sorts of things with visas, uh, medical insurance and car insurance and things like that. Now, I've just insured this car. Fully comprehensive for a year and it's 6,120, about 150 pounds, fully comprehensive. 150 pounds, fully comprehensive for this car. <laughs> what could you get for 150 pounds in England? Ah. I don't want to knock England. England was very good to me. It provided me with the money that I'm living on now because I've worked for it. Uh, nothing come free. I, I paid towards my pension. I'm very lucky that I was in a, a profession that I could retire at 50 and I did. And there are plenty of people that I work with they are still working. And they are the one more year one more year and then I'm going to retire and there's one individual that I know his one more year turned into six years now so he, he retired from the job at 50 year old three months later he said I'm bored Les so he went and got another job and I'm telling him how lucky he was to be able to retire at 50 and he said yeah but I'm only going to work one more year Six years later, he's still working. So, the moral of the story is, for me, retire when you can, for as long as you can, whilst you can. Because we're all getting older. And I did a little video, an e-book, saying don't worry about getting old, it doesn't last for very long. And now it's like 66, 67 before you can retire. You've given all your best years you've ever had to your employer and other people. 
So now you've got not a lot of time left. And bearing in mind, the majority of people, the older you get, the more um, complicated uh, complications you get with medicals and illnesses and things like that. So that even reduces your time to less because of ill health and not feeling very well. And I'll give you an example. I've got a friend of mine, I've mentioned this a couple of times, but I'm sure there's a few people who've never heard the story. When we were 55, we had a joint birthday party in Patia. And I've got to say, it's one of the best parties that I've had in my life. It started at six o'clock in the evening and finished six o'clock in the morning, the following morning. And it was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And the guy that I'm talking about, Nick, who was the same age as me, so we had the joint birthday party. Was, he's three days older than me. He was the life and soul of the party. Life and soul. He made everybody laugh. He was such a comedian and happy, happy with his life and happy with his lot and everything. And sadly now, I'm 63 year old, so he's, he's 63 old, so he's got dementia. He can't even remember the party that we had. He can't remember anything that happened. He lives in a groundhog day that every day is the same. And it's sad to see because he's 63 year old now and he can't remember what happened yesterday. And we've been friends for eight years now. And sometimes I go on to see him and he says, what room? Because he, he runs a guest house, him, him and his girlfriend. Now she takes very, very good care of him. But he runs a guest house and he says to me when I walk through the door, what room you're in, mate? And when I say, it's Liz, your friend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Only kidding, only kidding, he says. To sort of cover his embarrassment up. So basically, finish the car now. Finish washing the car now, so I'll have to, re I'll have to sort of finish the video. So the moral of the story is, if you're not happy where you are, do something about it. Not just Thailand. I'm using Thailand as an example because I live here and I know what it's like. And I've had many, many happy years living here in Thailand. So if you're not happy with life, do something about it. Move to another country, move to somewhere where you get better value for your money. It's a massive move, I know. And to those people who are coming this month, look forward to seeing you. And um, showing you the way where I live. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea. So from Les, retired and living the dream, thanks for watching.